Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to uninstall a vast secure browser using Revo Uninstaller. Now I have made a video in the past to show you how to uninstall a vast secure browser by just simply just going to programs and features and uninstalling it. But on this video we're going to be showing you how to actually to uninstall a vast secure browser and delete any temp files and files folders that are sitting in there and also registry settings and stuff that is kind of left behind in here. We're going to be using a program called Revo Uninstaller to remove this and it's not going to be installed either from Revo Uninstaller. We're going to use the portable version and then you can delete that file after if you don't need it anymore. But let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the first thing you do is go ahead and just open up a browser. You can pretty much go to Google Chrome. I'm already on Google. If not, you would type in google.com and you get the same point right here. And what we're going to look for right here is Revo Uninstaller right there. And we're going to click it. And don't click the first one on the site. Now technically if you get to there, you'll probably get to the same place. And it'll tell us more info. So we're going to go to Downloads. And we're going to choose the portable we see it's all telling us and stuff so instead of doing all of this work we're just going to back out on that and just select right here where it says downloads not that one where it says the free version uninstall free and we're going to go to that one and we're going to go to their downloads from right here tell us about cookies go ahead and press ok we're going to choose to download the free portable version that's what we're going to choose and it tells us once with the start if you want to get the pro we don't need any of that if it wasn't then you would pretty much need to refresh this again but we already have the folder and zip folder downloaded from Rebel Uninstaller right here, portable. So we're going to go ahead and open this folder. And it might prompt you on this, ask if you want to open up on File Explorer. You could be using a different browser like, um, what would be another, 7-Zip or WinRAR or any third party. Be sure you just use regular File Explorer on this. And it should look like this. From there, we're going to go ahead. Actually, you can just exit the browser. I don't need that anymore. Let me expand this too. We can come up on here where it says compressed folder tools. And we're going to choose extract all. And this pretty much went to downloads. Depending where you want to extract it, that depends on you. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it in there underneath downloads and press extract. And it'll pretty much show the folder anyway when it's done. Now, if I go to downloads, you do see there's a zip folder and there's the folder that's been extracted. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit the zip folder out. And here is the Revo Uninstaller Portable. And what we're going to do is simply just select the Revo U port right there. And we're going to select it. And you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. And it tells us about the program, about it. Information is go ahead and press OK. We really don't care about that. And here is the program. That means we didn't technically install any program. We just downloaded a file called Revo Uninstaller Portable. And that pretty much did our work for us. Now here is the Avast Secure Browser, and it tells us it's from Avast Software, and it tells us about avastbrowser.com about it. We're going to go ahead and select the uninstall on it right here. And it tells us if you want to create a secure point before uninstall. Now Windows 10 is a little clever, and I think depending on you, your secure point might be disabled. So if you do have it, I, my most reason actually I'm going to go ahead and just enable this for you real easy in case you want to create a secure um, restore point in case something messes up your computer. We're going to go ahead and go to start and we're going to go and on the search bar we're going to type in system restore point right here. And this is what it looks like and you see my secure point is not enabled. You can configure this and you can turn on protection and just give this thing maybe like 10 gigs if you have storage like this. If you do not have storage do not do this at all. If you like have one of those HP's that only have like 32 gigabytes, don't do that. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and press apply and okay, and okay. So now we know for sure that it's going to create a restore point. So let's go ahead and press continue and let it do its work. Okay, the program wandered to pretty much Chrome. Crash, let me actually retry this again, press yes. And let me try this one more time. Uninstall and press continue. And there it goes. It had a crash on there in the program. Wow. Again, it's a portable program, so anything could be possible for this to crash. It could have been because I made changes on there, but it did create the restore point, and now it's in process of uninstalling it. Pretty much it brought up the pop-up from Avast. You're going to go ahead and press uninstall it. it. tells us if you want to delete any browsing data. Go ahead and press uninstall. 
It's pretty much doing the programs part right here. And you saw that the program is uninstalled from the list now. And it tells if you want to tell us about that, I'm just going to go ahead and just exit. I'll say it's pretty much prompts us to see if I try and exit. It tells us no. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Sure, it doesn't give us an option. And I'm just going to exit that browser because I do not care. Now you have this option to choose a safe mode that pretty much deletes files from there or moderate or if you want to choose advanced. By default you can just choose moderate and just use it that direction but I'm going to go ahead and show the advanced to be advanced. That way it can pretty much clear any data that was there from that program from a vast secure browser. So let's go ahead and do a scan on the computer. It might take a little bit for it to load. Here it is. So it left one file right here in registry. I'm just going to go ahead and select all. It's pretty much those are just folders and that is actually the simple registry file right there. And we're going to go ahead and press next. Are you sure you want to skip the deletion? Actually, no. Before you press next, you're going to select the delete to pretty much delete that file. This has a shortcut on it underneath roaming right there. So we're going to go ahead and delete that file. If there's additional files, again, you'll select all if there's multiple of them. And you'll press delete, press yes. And that should be pretty much it. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and look around. See, files are in the recycle bin. Was it deleted that folder? So we're going to go ahead and just empty this folder because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to go ahead and do a hunt around and see if we see a vast folder saved anywhere in here. So there's this PC. We're going to go to programs and features. I do not see anything of vast here. I don't see anything underneath here. Let's go ahead and go into more depth. We're going to go to program data. One of my computers decided to load up. We're going to see if we see any programs here. I don't see a vast saved anything in here. I don't see anything in here. It pretty much seems that everything's pretty cleared out on it. Let's go underneath the users. Let's go to the current user I'm using. We're going to go to slash app data local folders any programs nothing in there nothing saved I don't see a vest anywhere yet Microsoft anything saved in there no nope. that's a dopey that won't even matter roaming don't see any folders Microsoft I don't see anything there Windows start menu is there any shortcuts of it underneath the programs no everything looks pretty good and that's pretty much it Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.